Hello guys, how are you? And welcome to Scotland with me, John, aka Old Man Suda. It's our mini first mini series of Football Manager 2020, and um, yeah, we've got obviously Scotland. We're going to see how far we can take them. Can we get them into the Euros? Can we get them into the World Cup? If you haven't seen it, I sort of outlay a bit more of this about why this series in episode zero or like intro episode, whatever you want to call it. Um, so go and watch that if you haven't seen it, sort of bit that bit. But obviously, we are trying to see how far we can take Scotland. Can we get them into the Euros, into the, the the actual competition? You know, get through the qualifying, and then can we get them into the World Cup in uh, Qatar in 2022, wherever it is? Um, yeah, it's going to be difficult. First game we've got is going to be against Belgium, which is probably the hardest team we've got to play. Russia probably the other hard team, but I think really realistically. The likes of Russia is the teams we, we should be trying to challenge and trying to beat. Belgium, I think, are going to be that step too far. They've just got so many good players, you know, with the likes of De Bruyne and Lukaku and Hazard and, you know, nearly... They've, they've got such a good team. They should be... They're one of the top teams in the world, really, at the moment, as we know. So it's going to be difficult, but we'll, um, we should be all right. There's been a couple of players we couldn't pick. So Kieran Tierney... Tierney, uh, Stuart Armstrong, Matt Phillips we couldn't pick, Steve O'Donnell's probably the one that I'm really disappointed we couldn't pick because he was probably the best right back, we've, we're a little bit weak in defence and uh, we're, Callum Patterson is actually who we've got to play as right back because we just haven't got anyone who's that good unfortunately, but overall it's not been too bad, I'll quickly take you through the team, um, so this is a tactic I've came up with or I, think, I feel like we should play against a like, team like Belgium where we're not going to have much opportunities. We really need to be defensive. Just try and hold it and maybe catch them on the break or something like that. You know, nick a goal here or there, really. So um, this is where we're going for this one. It's going to be Bain and Gold Cooper, uh, Suter and McKenna in defence. Patterson and Robinson out on the sort of uh, wing backs. McGinn, McTominay in the centre. Uh, Forrester and Fraser out on the wings. Griffin's up front. But really, the idea is that we're just going to hold up play everywhere and try and break a bit with the wingers and try and score that way um, as you can see like I said the defense is a little bit weaker and there's there's just yeah that's the only pro issue I would say I find with uh, you got Robinson and Kieran Tierney are fantastic left backs but right back and maybe central defense do with a little bit more but apart from that I think Scotland have got a really good squad and should be making the uh, for the finals really in that sort of sense um, but we'll see how we get on. Like I said, it's not going to be an easy game. I haven't had a chance to obviously try this tactic out. It's just the tactic, I think. If we're playing a team like Russia, I would probably go for something a bit more like this, um, where we can actually play our wings, play our good players down the wings and that sort of stuff and really get them. A defensive midfielder might be a bit of an issue. I've, I've still got to work out who we would play for that sort of role. But, yeah, that's the sort of thing I'd be looking at doing. Um, you know, we've got some good, you know, we've got some good central defenders. Ryan Christie, Christie's there as well. He's a good one. Uh, McGregor, McGregor as well. Uh, Callum McGregor is a fantastic central midfielder as well. So, you know, we've got a couple of really good central midfielders that we could play, especially as well in that like DM role and that as well. So we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a difficult one. I'm not sure if this tactic will work. But we'll find out very, very shortly overall. Uh, apart from that, there's not much else to really talk about. The um, morale is really down. And I don't know if this is down to international football. It's just their morale's down or what. But hopefully with some good performances, that will pick up a little bit. But I've just seen it there. Uh, let's see how we get on, though. It's going to be a difficult game. I'm not expecting to win it, but if we could nick a draw, it would be amazing. Absolutely really amazing. Uh, we'll see how we get on, though. Like I said, it's going to be really difficult. I'm expecting uh, Belgium to really go at us as we'll ask the assistant there. Um, only two players. I don't think I like that. Uh, can we set opponent instructions? Uh, Hazard and De Bruyne. I mean, Lukaku, we want to uh, show on to his weaker foot um, and possibly tie mark as well. Him, uh, who else is there? Tiedemans? No, we'll worry about this. I mean, that's the only thing I do like. I think we've got uh, it's a bit of a chance for Belgium is that their defence is a bit of an age in Vertonghen and Oldware company are all getting on a bit. I'm not sure how old he is, 27 years old, he's not um, too old, but they've got a bit of an age in defence, which is probably one of the only things that is a little bit of a saving grace against Belgium. They do need some younger defenders, uh, right? We'll say passionately. Um, what can we say? Let's we can move really on dog that suits us. It's not done anything. Let's give him a passionate talk, see if that will do anything as well. But it's 
not really. I think the morale's so low, we've got to really hope that Griffiths switches off, which doesn't really help us. Um, yeah, it'd be nice though if we can get something out of this. But like I said, the, the saving grace is their defence is a little bit weak. But I think their strike force and going forward is just too, it's going to be too strong overall. Let's see how we do. If we can pinch a draw, it will be absolutely fantastic. I mean, first five minutes or so, things are a bit quiet. It's their first highlight is to Belgium. They've got maybe a chance. It has, but it's a, oh, that wasn't a penalty. That wasn't a penalty. That was a good challenge. Penalty to Belgium. I mean, I wouldn't have called it. didn't look like a penalty to me. And they do score. It has hard to go with, uh, to the left. And it's a 1-0 to Belgium. I don't think that was a penalty. That didn't look like a penalty to me. That didn't look like a penalty. It looked like he got the ball. But they're saying it was. Uh, maybe he should have done a little bit better. He sort of dived in the same spot as he was standing. Uh, not a great start for us. And our first... Um, game is it 10 minutes down we are one nil down already can we uh maybe McKenna getting the yellow card there i mean what do, what do we do what do we do against a team like belgium you, you you can't beat teams like this you know it's no different to norwich or something like going up against man city in that sense is it will make that change there everyone's looking frustrated and anxious with 20 minutes gone i mean they are all over us at the moment. Russia go one up against Kazakhstan. It'd be great if Russia were to draw that game or something like that. Uh, it's a corner now. As De Bruyne puts it in, we do clear it, but not far enough. And then it's a looping shot that just goes wide. I mean, they're all over us. We were expecting this with the formation we were playing. Cyprus go one up against San Marino, as you would expect. Um, I, I'm starting to wonder now if we do need to change the formation, if this is just a bit too defensive. Um against them they've had so many shots so many on target as well it just doesn't seem to be working does it at the moment but what do we do we'll make that change i mean we've kept them to one shot they haven't had many highlights at the moment even though they've had quite a few shots on target 34 minutes so give it a shout and say we'll demand a bit more from our team as they find the second goal it was a great header alex witzel with the goal and we are two nil down did we expect any more than this? I don't know if we would have or not. I mean, it's a great header for him. We should have maybe defended it a little bit better, but he got up so high and he absolutely rocketed it in, didn't he? There, uh, looking a bit complacent now. They're fired up. Our demand more hasn't done anything um, really at the moment, unfortunately. And things aren't looking great after the, f uh, the first game. We're not even at half time yet. It's 2 0 down. Uh, we'll make that change as well. I mean, if we can get half time 2 0 down, I'll be happy with that. Well, you know, I just don't want to get whacked like 8 or 9 nil or something silly like that. That would be the worst part, really, if we lost there. Like I said, I still think we are a better team than this. Um, we just need to maybe change the formation a little bit. What can I say? Um, I'm not happy with performance. We'll say that. Liam Griffith switches off. I mean, really, you should be looking a bit more. Uh, right, tactics-wise, we're going to change the tactics. We're going to go this one. Uh, we haven't really got an attacking midfielder at the moment, I don't feel, who could go there. That's the only issue we do have. But I'm wondering if we do actually just drop that back down there. And we have you up there. We're changing the mentality, so that might help us out a little bit. You there. And then can we have you maybe as a ball playing defender as well? We'll see if that works out better for us. Hopefully it will. Uh, you're more of a box. I wonder if we swap you two around. Will that work better? That should work out better. Let's try this. Let's see if it will change it around for us. At least get a shot on target or something like that. Uh, that would be maybe a little bit better for us, wouldn't it? Um, as we're playing a bit more on the wings now, that should hopefully help out a little bit more. Let's see. I mean, we're just not playing particularly well. Robinson's having a good game, but the rest of the team is not playing well at all. Right, we're going to show some passion. See if that does anything. Does that fire anyone up? Not. Oh, we've got a corner. We put it in. It doesn't go anywhere, though. McKenna's going to get this. What's he going to do here? Gives it to McGinn. McGinn, we're going the wrong way. Uh, as we walk it out, put it out wide. Walk it out wide. Uh, Fraser now. Can he get a cross in? He gets past one. Puts it across. Get in there! Griffiths with the goal. Get in there. I know it doesn't mean a lot, but it does... You know, it helps so much a goal. Uh, Griffiths with the goal. Fraser did well here. Gets past one player. Uh, thought he was going to get tackled, but he managed to get past him. Puts it in. Griffiths with the shot. And it's 1-0. Uh, 
uh, or two one now a goal for us anyway but that's fantastic I mean that little change seems to have done a lot for us at the moment with 56 minutes gone we've even maybe got a chance of getting into this you know getting something out of this game at the moment uh, Peter Patterson even has been uh, booked McKenna's looking a bit tired Forrest is looking a bit tired as well we're gonna have to make a couple of changes very very soon I feel as uh, not much is really happening at the moment we we made that one we got that goal but we haven't kept sort of gone anymore McGinn's not playing well for us as well uh, we're gonna have to make some changes right McGregor can come on there um, I'm worried about the defense so Stuart Finley you can come on in the central or central defense and we'll leave it that we'll have to change forest at some point but we'll just leave it at that for now and maybe see if we can do another we'll have to make that sub he's looking exhausted uh who can bring ryan christie you can come on and let's see if we can get a second goal if we can get a draw here it'd be absolutely amazing it would be just yeah it would be something special right we're going to demand a bit more if we come forward now griffiths let's christie go christie's got a lot of room here he's coming in can he get across him he comes in one-on-one, -on -one. he tries to shoot, can't quite, he almost beat the keeper. We're so close, that was so close. 71, 72 minutes, I mean we just need to, let's do this quickly, uh, confirm the changes there. I mean, we've really got a chance of getting something out of this now. We've had some really good opportunities in the second half. 15 minutes left to go, can we find that one? Old Wears are looking absolutely shattered for them um, at the moment. I mean, we're starting to get a bit tired ourselves, but... There's not something we can do about that. We'll make that change. I have 10 minutes left to go. Come on, guys. See, can we get that last one more effort? One more effort. Just one more goal. I mean, Belgium probably do deserve to win this. Fraser's picked up not. It looks like a tight groin. Do we take him off? He's at 45%. We're going to have to take him off um, and just leave one player. Unfortunately, it probably is going to cost us the game. But De Bruyne now to Hazard. It was Hazard's brother, isn't it? It's the other Hazard. I can never remember. Is it uh, Forin or something like that? Forin? His name is or something. It's weird, isn't it? His second name, his first name even. As we launch the ball up, Griffiths isn't going to get there, unfortunately. As Vertonghen now gets a nice ball to Ezard. Ezard Hazard even. As uh, he tries a shot at an impossible angle. And with a minute left to go, four minutes of extra time, I don't think we're going to get the equaliser. But I think we've done well. Scoring a goal. 2-1 against Belgium. I would have took that at the... Uh, beginning of the day as so they get past one he gets past two gets past three it was terrible tackling terrible defending even uh from us as we might get the ball why didn't you run after it as now belgium come forward again they might get a third uh they clear the ball we just sort of managed to give them a bit of effort now we've got the ball we clear it just as far as the tongan now and it's belgium coming forward again they're playing the brown nicely lukaku gets it out they get it out wide to the tongan who puts it in and it's just wide and surely there isn't time for much more it's a free kick to the tongan taking it free kick to belgium even as they put the ball in uh, they are battering us I mean we had to take that player off unfortunately and I think it's just cost us too much and surely now a 2-1 loss overall I'm not happy too bad though because I think against lesser opposition like Russia like Cyprus we'll win this game especially with this second formation it's a long ball forward but we haven't got the legs unfortunately to go after it and surely that will be time there's nothing else we can do a good result I think overall I think like I said 2-1 loss against Belgium we made a that change in the second half and it worked out a lot better for us uh i don't think it's too bad i think overall we can say that we appreciate the efforts like because that wasn't it i felt, can't fault your points it was just one of those days you gave it everything we'll say that that's gone well for us we'll say that definitely um yeah i don't think overall that was too bad we'll see how the next game goes though belgium yes they did don dominate it uh fraser appeared to be out for three days McKenna accepts inevitable defeat. It's got to remain upbeat despite defeat. Um, and Spilic was spotted there. Uh, yeah, I think that tactic didn't work very well for us. But that tactic did work pretty well for us. Especially dropping him back, moving these up, worked fantastically well for us. So I think we'll keep that. Um, hopefully Fraser will be back for the next game if not we'll have to look at who we can put out on the left and see who's fit we might have to swap one or two players around um, right guys that is the end of the episode obviously next game will be the, the um, 
Russian Russia game even so let me know what you think let me know what you think of the tactics who we're picking in the teams all that sort of stuff if you know of any Scottish players I should be looking at let me know uh, thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it I will see you on the next episode bye for now